I am going to discuss one more important question asked in an interview that is strength and weaknesses. Strengths are important because they find mention in your resume. There are certain things that has to be kept into you kept in the mind before answering this question or before preparing this question number one that you don't have to be overly aggressive number two you don't have to be cocky about yourself or assertive and number three you should have an, a story an example or a reference attached to your strength or your weakness whatever adjective you are saying you must have a story prepared for it these are the three important things now, when I say you don't have to be overly aggressive, suppose you say that I'm a problem solver. It's something that is very aggressive at a fresher uh, from a fresher point of view, uh, leadership, problem solver, uh, saying that you are a facilitator, you are a uniform resource locator. These things are very aggressive when it comes to uh, a fresher. A fresher needs to be very humble and very straightforward and very simple also so he's looking what the interview is looking is whether you are a bit self-aware about yourself or not or whether you are able to answer the question uh, in a in a very simple and logical manner so what are the strengths that you can mention the first strength that you can mention is that you are sincere now when you say you are sincere what do you mean by sincere uh, sincerity means that you do not pass your load to someone else or you do not just pass the buck whatever is assigned to you you do your work and you do it properly number two you are honest you do not cheat people you do not fool people number three you are meticulous meticulous means you are detail oriented you go into detail you collect detail number four number five you are uh, objective in your approach objective means that you are fact oriented you are figures oriented you depend more on facts and figures rather than anything else number uh, next is you are uh, flexible now when i say flexible it means that you are flexible when it comes to working in an environment working with a team or working on any platform but you are not flexible when it comes to aim so with aim you are settled you are static but with other things, uh, environment, team, platform, data, you are flexible. You can accumulate as much data as possible and then according to your purpose, according to your uh, aim, you can use utilize the data. Then uh, hardworking, you are very hard. And now once again, what is hardworking? So hardworking means that you set a goal, then you set a predefined path, then you have dedicated effort and you uh, manage your time so hard work is just not hard work you know hard work for you is uh, a dedicated aim a dedicated path a pre-designed track dedicated efforts and effective time management then you are a team worker you like to work in team there is no problem with you when you are working with team these are few simple uh, uh, strengths that you can mention now when it comes to weaknesses i believe that uh, it's very difficult for one to personally i also believe that it's very difficult for one to uh, uh, enumerate his uh, or her uh, weaknesses because weaknesses are something that are uh, judged by other people they are standardized on a particular notion weaknesses are standardized on a particular uh, merit and they have a different kind of standardization and weaknesses are also something that is a part of self-awareness so a lot of people are not very self-aware and generally people are not self-aware so self-awareness is also a very difficult thing to attain in one's life so when it comes to weakness make it very simple say for example uh, you can say that my handwriting was very poor yeah my handwriting is very poor and uh, I am constantly trying to improve on my handwriting. Uh, number two, that I am not able to easily forget or forgive people. Uh, I am not able to forgive people. It's also a very uh, good weakness uh, that you can enumerate. Then uh, I am not uh, able to control my anger sometimes. So anger management issues are there that can be uh, called as your weaknesses. 
then you are you have a nail biting habit uh, in in tense or in stress situation you tend to bite your nail and uh, you end up hurting yourself uh, these are certain weaknesses so you have to uh, enumerate your weaknesses on this line means that uh, you are not that much capable to make a standard for your own when it comes to weaknesses but of course handwriting uh, getting angry not every time but sometimes when people uh, you know uh, they do not uh, have the same kind of uh, opinion that you have or you are not able to forgive people easily that is also a weakness or a nail biting is a weakness so you can you can find out uh, very simple uh, weaknesses and you can enumerate them in front of the interviewers uh, as far as resume is concerned do not mention more than three or four i think three uh, strengths are going to uh, do the deal for you so let's say for example if you are writing in your resume you can write uh, attention to detail or meticulous number one number two systematic number three you are logical Number four, you are rational. N rational means that you do things in a very methodological manner. Uh, so three uh, strengths should be mentioned in the resume and weaknesses are sometimes uh, asked in the interview because they both are commonly paired word strength and weaknesses. So you can say uh, weaknesses and you can be very simple and you can be very uh, you have to be very simple and you have to be very down to earth when it comes to weaknesses you know sometimes i've also heard that uh, uh, students or candidates appearing in an interview saying that uh, chocolates are my weaknesses that can also be your weaknesses that can give you a funny uh, uh, aspect to it that you know i'm sometimes not able i'm a shopping freak I, you know, when I get money, I just start shopping. I do a lot of shopping or I am a, a food freak. I eat a lot, something like that. So you can make it a weakness, a very simple weakness that can uh, give you a bit of uh, funny side and can impress the interviewer. Uh, whatever answers I am uh, talking about here in this video, uh, they are all somewhere down the line told by the candidates. Uh, interviewers had a good impression about them and they were successful in uh, cracking the interview if you have any question or queries please put it into the comment box i will answer it thank you very much